Do you know that there are people who may appear friendly and charming, but deep inside, they harbor evil intentions? Have you ever found yourself feeling uneasy around someone, but couldn't quite put your finger on why? In this video, we'll explore seven evident signs that there may be an evil person next to you, and how the ancient philosophy of Stoicism can help you deal with them. Stay tuned to learn more about protecting yourself from negative influences and cultivating inner peace. Sign 1. Manipulative Behavior Being manipulative is the first and one of the best ways to tell if someone is bad. People are managed when someone controls or sways them to do something that helps the manipulator, usually at the cost of the person being manipulated. Stoicism says that trickery is a clear breach of the values of patience, knowledge, courage, and justice. The Stoics taught us to spot trickery and stand up to it. It was Epictetus who said, men are disturbed not by things, but by the views which they take of them. Someone who is bad wants to change the way you see things so that you do things that aren't good for you. This kind of influence can look like many things, like making someone feel guilty, gaslighting them, or pretending to love them. Self-awareness and critical thinking are important ways to protect yourself from being manipulated. Another great Stoic teacher, Seneca, stressed how important it was to be logical and control oneself. If you know what makes you feel and want things, you can tell when someone is trying to trick you. To solve the problem, you need to keep your cool, step back, and think about it logically. People who are manipulators will often take advantage of your flaws, fears, and wants. They might be nice to you to get your trust, or they might play on your fears to keep you in line. It's important to be aware of these strategies. If you notice someone being manipulative, you should be honest and strong with them. Make your limits clear and don't give in to emotional fights or dishonest ones. When you accept the truth of the situation, you can act with calm and strength. Focus on what you can control, your thoughts, actions, and emotions. Don't get caught in the manipulator's web. Remember what Marcus Aurelius said in Meditations, if it is not right, do not do it. If it is not true, do not say it. Sticking to this simple but important rule will help you keep your character and keep you safe from people who are trying to trick you. Sign 2. Lack of Empathy Another sign that someone might be bad is if they don't care about other people. As a Stoic, one of the most important virtues is empathy, which means being able to understand and share other people's feelings. The Stoics thought that everyone was linked, and that kindness and care were very important. Empathy means that a person can't understand or care about how other people feel and what they're going through. This lack of care often leads to cruel and hurtful actions. As Stoics, we are told to practice sympathia, which means recognizing that we are all human and that we naturally care about each other. Not having care for others is a clear sign that someone could be bad. People like this may take advantage of others without feeling bad about it because they see them as tools to help them reach their own goals. They might ignore or make fun of other people's pain and not care about how their actions affect others. To spot and help someone who doesn't have empathy, you need to watch how they connect with others. Do they listen and react with real care, or do they seem uninterested and focused on themselves? Someone who doesn't have empathy will stay distant and not care, while someone who does have empathy will be kind and understanding. When working with these kinds of people, the stoic practice of ataraxia, or mental peace, is very helpful. You can handle these situations with grace and calmness if you keep your inner peace and don't let their coldness affect you. Remember that their lack of understanding is not a sign of weakness on your part. What happens to you doesn't matter. How you react to it does. Is something Epictetus says. You can keep yourself safe from the bad effects of people who don't understand how you feel by focusing on how you react and staying true to the Stoic ideals. Develop understanding in yourself to balance out their lack of interest. Do your best to listen actively, show empathy, and be kind to others. By showing these traits, you not only protect yourself from harm, but you also become a good model for others to follow. Sign 3. Consistent Lying The third thing that shows someone is bad is that they often lie. 
lies hurt faith, make things unclear, and lead to arguments. Truth was very important to the Stoics, who thought that living in harmony with nature meant being honest and trustworthy. A trait of a dishonest and bad person is that they lie all the time. It's a way to control, trick, and take advantage of other people. The liar makes up a fake world that leads people wrong and destroys the basis of honest relationships. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher, said, First, tell yourself what you want to be, and then do what you have to do. This concept stresses how important it is for our behaviors to be in line with our beliefs and true selves. Someone who lies all the time goes against this Stoic ideal because they betray not only others but also themselves. Pay close attention to how someone acts over and over again to spot someone who lies all the time. Do their stories seem to be missing pieces or too good to be true? Do they avoid making eye contact or make nervous movements when they talk? Believe your gut and check what they say with other reliable sources. It's important to stay true to yourself when you're working with a lie. Allowing yourself to choose your answer, or proheresis in stoic terms, is very important here. Instead of getting angry or frustrated, talk about the lies quietly and try to get the truth. You can hold the person responsible without putting your own honor at risk. He said, if someone is able to show me that what I think or do is not right, I will happily change, for I seek the truth, by which no one was ever truly harmed. Being open to the truth is a strong defense against lying. By putting honesty and truth first, you can find your way through the web of lies and avoid getting caught. Make being honest a habit in your own life. Tell the truth, even if it makes you feel bad or uncomfortable. Being true to this stoic ideal makes you a better person and helps you build relationships based on trust and respect. Sign 4. Enjoying others' misfortune. The fourth sign of a bad person is that they enjoy other people's pain. This kind of behavior, called Schadenfreude, shows that someone is deeply mean and doesn't care about others. The Stoics thought that everyone was part of a bigger human group and stressed how important it was to be kind and compassionate to others. Someone who finds joy in other people's pain is deeply morally flawed. This desire to enjoy other people's pain is a clear sign of a bad nature because it goes against the Stoic ideals of compassion, fairness, and kindness. To spot this sign, watch how a person acts when other people are having a hard time or failing. Do they show sympathy and support, or do they laugh, talk about it, or even celebrate? A bad person may try to hide their Schadenfreude by acting like they care, but their real feelings usually come through in small ways. The Stoic concept of apathia, or freedom from emotion, is very important when dealing with someone who likes other people's suffering. If you separate yourself from their harmful energy, you can keep your inner peace and not let it affect you. Remember that their happiness in other people's pain shows what kind of person they are, not how valuable you are. Seneca said, wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for kindness. When people show Schadenfreude, you should be kind and caring. Help those who are suffering, and don't let the bad behavior of others make you less able to understand and help others. Be thankful for what other people have done well and enjoy their happiness. The stoic ideals of society and connection are strengthened when you celebrate other people's successes and help them when they need it. Having a good mood not only protects you from the bad effects of Skadenfreud, but it also makes the world a better place for everyone. Sign 5. Constant need for control. The fifth sign of a bad person is that they need to be in charge all the time. People act this way because they want to control and rule others, which often leads to violent and cruel actions. The Stoics said that real power doesn't come from controlling other people, but from being strong inside. Someone who always wants to control the people around them is scared and does not feel safe. They think that managing other people will keep them strong and stable. But this need to be in charge goes against the Stoic ideas of independence, respect, and helping each other. To spot someone who is focused on power, watch how they connect with others and form relationships. Do they control, 
give orders, and change things to make sure they're in charge? Do they act badly when other people try to be independent or question their authority? These actions make it clear that the person is controlling. When working with someone who always wants to be in charge, the stoic practice of ataraxia, or peace of mind, is very important. You can handle these exchanges with power and calmness if you keep your cool and don't let their attempts to control you bother you. Do not let their cunning behavior change your mind. Instead, set clear limits and stand up for your own rights. A wise man named Epictetus said, No one is free who is not master of himself. This theory shows how important it is to be able to control yourself and have inner power. You can keep your personal freedom and fight against other people's power by focusing on your own growth and strength. Respect and independence should be part of your personal interactions. Support other people's growth and encourage them to be independent. By creating a space where people respect and help each other, you can counter the bad effects of people who want to be in charge and make the world more fair and just. Sign 6. Exploitative Nature The sixth sign of a bad person is that they are greedy. Exploitation is when you use someone else for your own benefit, usually by lying, forcing, or manipulating them. Being like this goes against the stoic ideals of fairness, honesty, and respect for others. Someone who is selfish sees other people as tools that they can use to get what they want. They don't care about the rights or well-being of the people they take advantage of, and they often leave a path of harm and suffering in their wake. This kind of selfish behavior shows that the person is evil because they put their own needs ahead of those of others. Pay attention to what someone does and why they do it to spot someone who is manipulative. Do they want to get ahead at the cost of others, not caring about what's right? Do they use trickery or force to control people and events in order to get what they want? These actions make it clear that the person is manipulative. When working with someone who is taking advantage of you, it's important to remember the stoic principle of sympathia, which means recognizing our shared humanity. You can fight back against the degrading tactics of abuse by recognizing that everyone has worth and respect on their own. Set clear limits and don't take part in or back actions that take advantage of others. Marcus Aurelius said, the best way to get back at someone who hurt you is to be unlike them. This idea tells us to be honest and good when dealing with abuse. By showing fairness and respect, which are stoic values, you can fight the bad effects of people who take advantage of others and keep yourself safe from their harmful actions. Do the right thing and be kind to others in your own life. Respect and be fair to other people and try to make their lives better in any way you can. By creating an atmosphere of mutual respect and support, you can fight the bad effects of abuse and help make the world more fair and just. Sign 7. Absence of Guilt or Remorse The seventh and final sign of an evil person is the absence of guilt or remorse. Guilt and remorse are natural responses to wrongdoing, reflecting an awareness of the impact of our actions on others and a desire to make amends. The absence of these feelings indicates a profound moral deficiency and a lack of conscience. A person who lacks guilt or remorse is often incapable of recognizing or acknowledging their harmful behavior. They may justify their actions, blame others, or simply feel indifferent to the suffering they cause. This absence of moral awareness is a clear indication of an evil nature, as it reflects a fundamental disregard for the well-being of others. To identify a person lacking guilt or remorse, observe their responses to their own mistakes and harmful actions. Do they acknowledge their wrongdoing and seek to make amends, or do they deny, deflect, and rationalize their behavior? Their inability to experience or express guilt and remorse is a clear indicator of their moral deficiency. By detaching yourself from their negative energy and not allowing their indifference to affect you, you can maintain your inner peace and protect yourself from their harmful behavior. Set firm boundaries and refuse to engage with their justifications and rationalizations. Epictetus advised, Remember, it is not enough to be hit or insulted to be harmed. You must believe that you are being harmed. This principle encourages us to maintain our inner strength 
and not allow the behavior of others to harm our sense of self-worth and integrity. By focusing on your own growth and resilience, you can resist the negative influence of those who lack guilt and remorse. Cultivate a strong sense of ethical awareness and responsibility in your own life. Acknowledge your mistakes, seek to make amends, and strive to act with integrity and compassion. By embodying these stoic virtues, you strengthen your character and build a foundation of trust and respect in your relationships. Recognizing the seven signs of an evil person, manipulative behavior, lack of empathy, consistent lying, enjoying others' misfortune, constant need for control, exploitative nature, and absence of guilt or remorse is crucial for navigating the complexities of human relationships. Through the timeless wisdom of Stoicism, we can learn to identify these behaviors, protect ourselves from their harmful influence, and cultivate virtues that lead to a just and compassionate life. By practicing self-awareness, critical thinking, and inner strength, we can resist manipulation and control. By embodying empathy, honesty, and integrity, we can counteract indifference and deceit. And by fostering respect, fairness, and responsibility, we can build a world where compassion and justice prevail. Remember, the true power lies within you. Embrace the teachings of Stoicism and let them guide you towards a life of wisdom, virtue, and resilience. Thank you for joining us on this journey of understanding and enlightenment. Stay strong, stay virtuous, and stay true to yourself.